Hey you guys, Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with a massive HO scale update. Lots to talk about. I'd like to go ahead and get right to it. I will start from the main line, the main loop, and we're gonna work our way back. As you can see, I've got a new switch installed. I'm here to put in this new uh, storage track. It's gonna be planning on using that for locomotives. Um, I'm waiting on some more track and some stuff to come in before this project can proceed. So I've got most of it done. It's just I'm waiting on a couple and some a new joiner that I'm gonna put in right here and also some uh, little small extension pieces. So um, that's gonna be planned to be used for um, storing locomotives. Um, maybe just have one or two locomotives there so I can do a power swap. Uh, these four cars right here have all had their couplers replaced and these three have metal wheels on them now. These two right here is a southern um, bulkhead flat and a western union cable uh, flat car with a cable load, both made by Tyco. Their plastic wheels have been replaced with metal wheels and the Bachman Easy Couplers. Now this car is a lifelike uh, flat car that came with two containers. I've modified that custom weathered it and made two little bumpers for rail wheels. I'll be putting some rail wheels on that soon. I did this project when I was in college and I'm gonna uh, reinstate that for active service. The RFMP boxcar just had its wheels replaced with brand new uh, metal wheels. Uh, that is running smooth as silk now. And I'm gonna take the engine off for just and pull the cars around. And as you saw back there, the Santa Fe Reefer, which I recently did an unboxing video of, uh, this piece actually just had its couplers changed out to Bachman Easy Couplers. The wheels were not dirty at all, which I was really, really surprised at. Because sometimes with older rolling stock, the wheels get dirty and some people don't clean them. But I went, soaked them in a little bit of alcohol and they're running smooth as silk. Um, and as you all saw from the uh, Independence Day run as well as the run with 3811, the Liberty Bell boxcar and the Spirit 76 car both had their couplers changed out. Um, the wheels, as a matter of fact, there's still plastic wheels on there, but they're in really good shape um, after giving them a quick clean and some alcohol. Uh, so those are working. And this track clean car is actually a Bachman, I believe. Bachman or Tyco? Let me take a look. It doesn't say, but um, it was made in Hong Kong, so I imagine this might be a Tyco. I replaced its couplers because I might want to start using this one a little bit as maybe to buff the track up a little bit, things like that. So. Um, a lot of rolling stock updates, and plus I've got some other cars that have been in my local train shop for repair as well, changing some couplers out because I've been really busy with work, and there was a few of them that had missing parts to them, so I'm currently waiting on those, so that's like eight pieces out there that are still uh, accounted for, just wait for them to return, so lots of HO progress continuing. Um, the next couple of projects are going to be to finish the side of this up, uh, this other storage track, and to get it ready for service. And pretty much the track will be pretty much ready um, for this phase. So this part of the track will be ready for, for service as well as um, getting some more rolling stock back up. So I'll be rotating the rolling stock pretty frequently with some of the rebuilds that have been that are in the shop currently and also some of the ones that I've already done. So um yeah, more progress will be continuing, guys, so you'll want to stay tuned for all the latest updates now because HO projects have been in high gear once again. So anyway, guys, smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell where you get all the latest updates, and I'll see you guys soon. Lots of videos coming out on the channel, so hang on tight. We're going into high gear. All right, and I'll see you next time.